you recently cited on your blog that about 13 percent, only 13 percent of employees worldwide are actually engaged at work. Why is this and what can we do about it? It was so interesting when I saw that. It, I was sort of stunned. I was like, wow. I mean, that's that's barely one in ten, you know, people that are engaged in what they're doing. And I think it has a lot to do with what we were just talking about with regard to, well, two things, with regard to, um, you know, feeling purposeful in the work that you're doing and getting meaning from it. But I think it's also because, by and large, our society has defined success as achievement, right? So we've been striving so hard to achieve. This is everyone. This is true, you know, across, I, I think, at least the U.S. population and probably more broadly too, we we think about, okay, what is like the next goal that I need to achieve? What's the title I need to have or the salary that I need to get or, you know, the company that I, you know, have to have their name on my resume? And then you get all those things and you still feel kind of empty. Um, and I know a ton of people who have, who have gone through that experience and I think it's because we're thinking about success in the wrong way. And I think real success has to do with, uh, with not just achievement, although I think that's important. We want to feel like we've you know, achieved goals that we've identified for ourselves. Um, that's certainly linked to fulfillment, but also thinking about fulfillment more broadly. Again, meaning and purpose, but also what brings me joy. And, and maybe some of that comes also from having the kind of job that allows you to have you know, strong relationships with your family and take time to do that. I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be career related, um, although certainly I think for many of us we find fulfillment in our career. And then also, again, who am I as a human being and how, how can I impact this role or this work in a you know, substantial way? And I think, you know, it's, it's so interesting when you, you think about sort of impact. And I think we tend to think, oh, maybe, you know, I'm an operations manager and I just realized I should be a creative director and it's all wrong. But I think you can still, I think you, it doesn't mean you need to change jobs. It just means you need to understand yourself and how that job's going to work for you in a way that you can be engaged and fulfilled. And I think there's a ton of stuff that organizations can do to encourage that. And I, th and I think that has to do with learning and development opportunities, especially for the millennial generation, which really craves that. But I think also as individuals, we, we kind of need to take the initiative there. It goes back to like having initiative and, and being proactive, but thinking about, okay, how can I learn more about myself and what I bring to the table, not just in terms of skills, but also what values, what, you know, what's important to me, what am I passionate about? What are my best working conditions, right? Do I like to work in an office or outside? Do I like to work with people or alone, quiet or noisy? I mean, all of these things. And I have a great blog post on this. I'm great if I do say so myself. Um, but it's, got, it, it's by far the most popular. It's not my most recent one, but just in the last two weeks, it's gotten, I think, like twelve or 13,000 hits. People wow. keep, keep going to it. Because, and it's called, um, I think it's like four steps to figuring out what to do with your life. But I think it really resonated, again, with that, that ethos of, okay, who am I as a human being and how can I get things sorted out in a way where I'm able to achieve goals but also be happy and feel impactful and purposeful.